This is it, dude. Holy shit! Oh! Hi, hi. Hey, take it easy, man. Take it easy. You might get stuck in the doorway. Maybe not, because you're a ghost. Dude, he's after me, what? Okay, come here. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, you wanna try it again? What? What happened? <laughs> oh, he's, he's shrouded in, in a little cloud of stench. Oh crap, dude. Okay. Run away, okay. Uh, play it properly now. Okay, we'll just wait for him. He's got like a period of invulnerability. What? Okay, I forgot he can move through walls because he's a ghost. Should probably keep that in mind. Whoa! What? I tried to run past him! It's tough, dude! Did we defeat him? You have been defeated! Giant man! Spirit banished! Hooray! We did it. I think we finished that, uh... Finished out that room, maybe? You may need to return to previously visited levels to finish objectives. Okay, thank you. Cool. So wait, what room was that? 105? Let's check the candles. Uh, 106. Yep, we got both the candles there. Nice. What do you think? Are you proud of me? For a band that big, they were bound to have a fan or two with a screw loose. Oh, that he's the stalker, the guy, the guy on the computer. One loyal admirer wanted to resurrect those rock stars. I prefer to stay away when that happens. We got a hint that updated our objective. Was it here? Someone's trying to resurrect some zombie rock stars. Is it really possible? Huh. Yeah, oh yeah, 103. Forgot about forgot that we even went there. So we're completely done with 105 and 101. And that's uh that's it so far. Everything else. We haven't even been to 104 or 107. All right, let's go to 104. It's another double candle room, so I'm guessing there's two uh two ghosts in this one. By pressing F or B. It's weird that B also activates the flash. It's kind of strange. Okay. Well, um yeah, this is one of two rooms that we haven't even been in yet. Which is exciting. Curse of the Beast. This is very similar to the design of the sewers that we were in, in 101. Also kind of reminds me of... Ooh, what's this? Dance Performer Flyer. Also kind of reminds me of like a Unity Horror map. Like a bad one. So this is like a... This is a maze. We'll take a right. We'll just uh... Maybe we'll follow the right wall. Not sure. The hell? Hi, 
Hi, babies. Okay. Hey, guys. This doesn't seem cool. You found gramophone handle? Ooh, we can go back to 108 and use that. What's with all the babies? It seems like it goes to the outside right there. Huh. We'll have to find out. What? The hell was that? I think we're supposed to banish that spirit, but. Ooh! Ooh! Needles! I want some! Give some to me. I would love to have that. Hi. Where are the needles? Well, there's a mirror. The beast. I want these needles. Yeah, how many of these do I have now? I've got quite a few. Um, inventory, 10 out of 14. Happens when we get to 14, eh? Okay. This way out, I think. Maybe take a left here. Dude, goes out. The hell is this? Man, this looks like a fight scene. Let's go up here. What is over here? We can't climb up. Huh? SLR? Looks very red through the cell phone lens. Huh. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! Hey, come back! Did you run away from me? Gotcha! What the? It's like a rat man! Come back here! Ew, he's filthy! See all that dirty's kicking up? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Wow, he... He runs fast! I see you. I see you over here. Lee. What are you so afraid of? Just a girl with a camera. Yeah, maybe we'll switch to the SLR. I can see just fine here, so. I think I think this one fires at a more rapid rate, so. Oh, ooh, he scared me. <laughs> I didn't know that he had stopped. Come back, man, come back. I just want to photograph you. You're gonna be a star. Don't you want to be my model? Wait. No, 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 he's this way. He is. He went this way, right? 
Linda got so tired, she has to walk now. I think there he is over there. Hey, man. Yeah, this, this fire is way faster. Gotcha. Objective updated. What? What the hell? Whoa! Shh! What the hell is this thing? Whoa! Oh! Okay. No, I get it. I get it, dude. I get it. Wow. You're big. It's Naruto, guys. The nine tailed fox demon. He's faster than me. Just. <laughs> I'm gonna die, guys. Look at him! Oh, this is tough. Okay, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. I know what to do, I know what to do. Run, Linda, run. Run, Linda, run. We need to get him out into open space! This is bet we're at a disadvantage in here. Of course, he's also faster than us, so... We might not make it out of here. You know. Here we go, here we go. This is better. Yeah. Regenerate some of your health, man. Hey there! Woo! No! <laughs> He's so fast! Did I get you? Oh, you've got you've got breasts! Hi. I'm wasting so much film. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? He's going into like a different mode. Ugh. Whipping me with his tail. Don't really appreciate that. Ooh, you missed. Oh, so sorry. Ooh! Shoot, dude. I mean, I think if I had gotten him out into the open earlier, we wouldn't have died there, but I just didn't. I, he caught me off guard. I was unprepared. Oh, hi. I see you're ready for me. That was a little unfair. Look at how... Wow, look at how ready he is to kill me. Bloodthirsty. Oh. <laughs> what? It's like WWE SmackDown over here. Climbing up the wall. Like that. Ooh. I photographed your tail. I hope you don't mind. Ooh. Where'd he go? There he is! Ooh! <laughs> this is fun, man. This is fun. We're having fun. I swear to God, sometimes when I tell her to ready the camera, there's there's a bit of a delay that I don't really appreciate. Oop. There we go. Going a lot better now. Ooh! Couldn't couldn't get out of range. Alright. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> get him! Get him, whatever. Her. I don't know. There we go. Take a bunch. You done? Oh, not dead yet. There we go. Oh, that is so cool. 
Spirit banished! Hey! Really want to do my dropsy dance. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. Hey! Oh man. Man, I know, uh, I know Dreadout's not everybody's cup of tea, but this, I'm having a lot of fun. Mm. Nobody knows where he came from. Heck, no one could ever hardly see him. Yeah, you've told me that before. All right, so, let's check out the Ghostpedia, because I've been slacking on that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we've been missing a couple of these. Wow, I didn't even, Kami. Kami was once a beautiful woman. Her vanity was her beauty, particularly her long, flowing hair. She had so much pride in them that she would never let anyone but herself touch it. The mere sounds of shears or scissors would cause her alarm and generate fear and anger. Her beauty made many men wished to court her, but she was never interested in romance. Until one day she encountered a very special man she fell for. Unfortunately, the feeling wasn't mutual. She then stalked him and his girlfriend to find out what is it that draws him to her, certainly not her beauty. She tried to find out what it is that's so special about her. In the end, she grew frustrated and and needed to inspect her more closely. She proceeds to behead the woman. That escalated quickly. She took the time to study her beauty, especially her hair, but found no particular exceptional qualities. Interesting. Haunting of child. So this is the hide and seek girl. The best thing this little girl knew was playing hide and seek with her friends. Her persistence helps her excel at this game all the time. She can hide forever in one place before her friends find her. One day, the little girl and her friends played near the outskirts of her village. Naturally, she went to the forest to find a good hiding spot, but what started as a sunny day suddenly changed into heavy rain. All of her friends decided to end the game and started to call her. However, being a master at hiding, she refused, thinking that it might just be her friends trying to trick her into losing. For a long time, she hid, and not before everything was too cold for her that she eventually decided to leave. Unfortunately, the dark and heavy weather kept her from finding her way home as she went deeper into the forest. These are pretty in-depth. The Beast. Well, th wait, this is the Beast? But we just... We just went to the Curse of the Beast or whatever. Wait, I thought that was a different one. Yeah. The Beast was once a mortal being whose name has been lost to time, but when he was alive, he had only one true passion, devouring human flesh and he is particular to the meat of young maidens. Before devouring his victims, he would always have a little fun breaking them before he feasted. To him, the most pleasing experience is when his food had lost all hope, therefore more tender to his mind. Included in his method is having one of his victims watch as the other victim was eaten by him while she's still alive. One time he was careless enough to have one victim escape his clutches, after which the townspeople captured and sentenced him to death. For his crimes, he was sentenced with an unspeakable punishment. Using his own methods on him, he was forced to eat his own flesh, which to everyone's surprise, he enjoyed. That's a, probably the darkest one we've read. Devorador. Little rat guy. Devorador is a demon shaped like a deformed canine. He was once a human being without the consciousness of one. He derived pleasure from mistreating animals, especially dogs. Oh, it's possible that this habit stems from the abuse he endured from his father during childhood. One night he decided to steal one of his neighbor's pets. A Labrador dog, as like what he did to other dogs he tortured, he threw this one into a pit near a vacant lot in his neighborhood. He let the dog die of starvation as he checks on it every night. Watch it paw its way up, climbing to freedom. A week passed by, and he went to the lot to inspect what remains of the pet he snatched. At that moment, the dog owner had found out and met up with him, and a brawl ensued. By irony of fate, he fell inside the same pit he threw many dogs in. The last dog he threw there was still alive. With its spare energy, it attacked its captor and devoured his face. The dog owner saved his pet and left him to die in it. The same pit he used for torture. Hmm. Seems like there's a theme. Nine Tails. The mysterious being has lived for centuries. Her appearance is that of a fox with nine tails. It says that the more tails a mystical fox she has, the older and more powerful the fox is, which in her case indicates that she has lived for more than nine centuries. Being a trickster in nature, she sometimes manifests herself as a beautiful woman just for the sake of fun. During her earlier years, she lived in close proximity to a village. At one stroll through the forest, she was misled into a trap that was set by a young girl. The girl took pity on her and released her soon afterwards. 
The fox's gratitude came in the form of lasting friendship with her. They played together almost every day for years to come. As time went by, the girl grew into a mature woman. The fox even attended her marriage disguised as one of the village farmer. How did that happen? How, how could you mistake that for a farmer? Anyway, well, cool. So we finished, we finished 104 completely. We finished 105 and 101. Um, just got a few others to do. Okay, so I went back into 104. Just wanted to check things out and there's a new ghost in here. Look at this thing. What is this? I don't know, but I thought we had completed this room, but I guess not. Really weird. So people have told me that you can zoom in with the SLR, which makes me wonder why I was ever using the phone. So I killed him. I don't really understand what he is or what he's doing here. Didn't get a Ghostpedia update or anything. Maybe it's just to give you something to do? I don't know. Very odd. Okay guys, we're gonna go back into 102 and we're gonna kill this samurai douchebag that's been giving us trouble the past couple of videos. Been giving me trouble, sorry. You guys aren't guilty by association. Been giving me trouble. <laughs> um, so yeah, I completely forgot that you could zoom with the SLR because it's been a year and a half since I've played this game, but we're gonna try that now. First, we gotta find him. Let's check in the usual spot. No? Oh, here. Okay, he's close. Where is he? He's super close. It's like he's breathing. Ah, oh, man, spray and pray. Maybe if I get... Oh wait, there he is, way over there, I didn't see him. There he is. Ooh! Son! Just owned you! Okay. It's saved, I guess. Now I'll have to find his next... next place, which I think is over here. Or at least it was. Okay, I cannot find him again. Seems that he didn't respawn. So I'm gonna go back uh, to 103. I, I don't know, <laughs> like, I looked everywhere and there were no audio cues or anything. Very strange. I got an achievement. That's weird. It didn't say spirit banished or anything. Both candles are gone now, but it's still lit. So I'm very confused. Let's go to 103. <laughs> very weird. I got an achievement for banishing eight spirits, though. Um, so I guess I did. I mean, the game isn't perfect. You know, it's made by a small team. And the original Dreadout was a little buggy too, so. A minor complaint at this point, I think. 
I'm definitely willing to overlook bugs if the rest of the game is solid. Something that I've noticed the rest of the gaming community is generally not ready to do. But anyway, okay, um, wow, I don't know why it does that. Like, that's annoying. Sometimes it just kind of jerks the camera. It'll pause and it'll just jerk it. That's what she said. All right. Where are you? You in here? You were here last time. Didn't really appreciate it. You're so dead if I see you again. Ooh, there's stuff here. Is that a charm needle? It's my 11th charm needle, still looking for the other three. And there's the mirror, but we're not gonna go back. We have business here. You'll excuse me. All right, we're done with the west wing there, I guess. Huh. We'll go there, like, last. Let's go to the east side first. Okay. Where is he? Is he over here? Sounds like he's coming, he's coming from this way. Oh, birds. That probably indicates where he is. There we are. Let's switch to the SLR. Oh! Too bad, so sad. Ha! Oh! Objective updated, ghost PD updated. I guess that's, that's it then. The silent assassin is assassinated. Check out the Ghostpedia. Oh, his name is Zook. Little is known about the origin of this mysterious being. Some believe him to be the spirit of an ancient warrior. Quite possibly, he was stranded here from before colonial times. The story that circulates about him is that he has a dark spirit enacting vengeance upon random people without any discriminating pattern. Many say he often appears when it's raining. Always very silent and stealth-like, prepared to deliver instant demise toward his victims, he appears with a strange skull mask, carrying a sword on his back that looks similar to a katana, indicating that he's from Japan. Even more strange is the reports that say that on a different period, the ghost takes different forms. The only connections are the mask and the sword on its back. Some written evidence from decades ago suggested that the ghost figures resembles that of a woman. Another era mentioned the ghost being taller. It's possible that the ghost is actually some kind of shapeshifter. But another theory concludes that the mask itself is the entity, claiming its victim on different periods of time. Nice! So let's go over here, I guess. Is that another charm needle? Is this our 12th? 12th charm needle. What? Was that? Okay. <laughs> Glad that that happened. Bye bye. Let's see. Let me let me see what else is here. Um, Linda's notes, please enlighten me. Right. Someone's trying to resurrect some zombie rock stars. Is it really possible? The antique doll must belong somewhere. Okay, so that's what we've got left to do in 102. That's why it's still lit. So we'll keep we'll keep going through 103, and um, I'm not really sure what to do with 102. We, we've got to get the antique doll from 108. I just don't know how to do that. Every time I try to pick it up, I can't. So we got to look for the original owner, I suppose. All right, let's go down this uh, pathway here. I'm sure we'll encounter somebody. Don't worry about that assassinating one. There's something nearby. Coil in concert. Bigger, faster, louder. 
Oh, Coil is a band. No way, dude. We're gonna be fighting a rock band. These tombstones have different items placed above of them. There's nothing I can do for now. Oh, I guess we gotta find the rest of the nerd notes, but, and then we can come back here. Mm. Did you really assassinate that assassin? Really? Mm. Nope, I got nothing. Are you positively sure had assassinated that assassin? Yes, I am, janitor. Mm. You're not the first one to visit this place, you know. Mm. Wow, he is really hung up on that assassin. So things are super lit up here now. At least this is, look at this. Achievement unlocked, knocking on heaven's door. Well, wait, what is this? What? What? What, what, what?